Okay, this is an introduction to MP3 TrueEdit. Uh, just start off by showing you how you can open an MP3 file. Click the Open button. We select a file now. And uh, what's displaying here is a representation of the audio volume levels over time. So what we can do is we can select audio, we can change the volume, we can cut, copy, paste, move these frames around, and then we can almost instantly generate a an, an exported edited file but that will keep all the original quality of the original mp3 recording. Now what I'm going to show you is uh, how to select audio so the quickest and easiest way is just to click with the mouse keep it pressed down and drag along and that will select some audio. You can also adjust the start and end points by just clicking and dra dragging clicking and dragging the end points and uh, if you're happy with that, that's great. If you need to do any finer editing, you can drag the uh, audio display along using this time ruler. And you can see the exact time of this red vertical line here. This is the current play position. And once we've dragged that to the exact time, so it's two seconds, uh, we can click on selection start and that will set the selection to be the start there so if we wanted to actually end on uh, 12 seconds let's say then uh, we can click on selection end you may notice that you can't go exactly to point to the exact point because there is a certain amount of granularity here uh, the frame size will limit you a certain amount but that's only uh, a couple of hundredths of a second so that shouldn't really affect any normal editing. So once you've selected your time that you want you can move the left and that right arrow as well to help you select. You can click selection end and that's adjusted the selection exactly to 10 seconds of selected audio. Give or plus a couple of hundredths of a second. You can see that on this green display here, it displays the number of seconds that are selected. And this uh, current play position will always show you where that red arrow is within the file or within your project. Now if I rewind, we can play the audio that we've loaded. And uh, you can see that uh, as you play, the, the uh, audio display will scroll along as you play, play to match the uh, current playing position. There's also a volume meter here that will give you an indication of how loud the, the sound is as well. Uh, there's also another way to navigate apart from using this time ruler on the top and dragging it. You can also click using the map view below. That will take you exactly to where you've clicked on the map. If you need to do some finer adjustments, then you can adjust using the timer ruler on the top. You can also use a keyboard, so there's a left and right arrow to move one frame at a time. You can use control, left and right arrow on Windows, and that will move uh, a predefined number of seconds, so here it's half a second. Uh, or control, page up and page down on Windows. This will move 5 seconds it's, as it's been pre-configured. Now as I showed you before, to select audio, you can just click and drag. That will enable you to select any kind of audio. You can adjust the endpoints. So when you've selected your audio, you might want to um, cut, copy and paste some audio. So I can show you maybe by doing Control Home to get to the start of the file. Select this first part of audio and once that's selected I can uh, delete this or I can cut it. So when I cut it that audio is put on the clipboard. I can then select where I want to paste it and to paste it you must do a, a selection with the, with the mouse uh, and it will actually paste over your current selection. That is the green dotted line. That's a zip where it's a dotted green line. That means it's a zero width selection. So if I press paste, it will actually paste exactly where that green dotted line is. I'm just going to undo that 
to show you another thing if I've actually got something larger selected so it could be almost all the audio press selection then so I've selected all, nearly all the audio in my file apart from the very beginning and very end sections now if I were to paste what would happen is it would replace the selection with the audio on the clipboard and it's very similar to how you would do text editing if you've got something highlighted and you paste into that then it effectively deletes what's highlighted before pasting in what's on the clipboard so this is the same principle that we have with mp3 true edit so I've pasted this now you can see that it's just pasted that copy of the first section in the middle and all the other audio has uh, been deleted before this paste operation so that's uh, cut copy paste uh, as I showed you before there's multiple undo and redo so I can undo that paste you can see that selection has come back as well uh, it will tell you the operation you're going to undo which can include selection um, so I can undo the cut as well so that cut has been put back uh, so really you can undo as many times as you want so I can actually go right back to the, when we loaded the file now now I'm going to show you a quick um, a quick effect that you can do if I select some audio then we can click on the fade in button as you notice every time I click it will fade in a bit more and click a few times if you want we can rewind and have a listen okay that seems to have faded in okay and uh, that's one of the effects there's some more effects which we'll be explaining in another YouTube video um, so once you've done your edits and you're ready to uh, save your mp3 uh, what you'll notice is that you don't actually save mp3 directly you need to export mp3 what you save is a project so I'm going to save a project now I'm going to give it a name uh, demo project 2 so what that has saved is uh, a list of all the edits and volume changes cut copy pastes so all that information is in the project it doesn't actually contain the original audio mp3 at all it's just a list of instructions that you've uh, you've that you've uh, done to edit the the audio so these original mp3 files normally you will keep those in the same place uh, to make sure that your project remains valid otherwise you have to try and relocate the original file so it's best to keep these in in the same place until you finish with your editing now once we've now saved the project we've given it a name what you'd want to do now is export all your audio which is basically my uh, backing track with a fade in so that's the only edits I've done this time because I undid all the errors so if you want to export all that audio we can click on export all as the alternative is to just export a selection of audio so we could have maybe selected um, just a part of the audio we only want to select that but this time I'm going to select all the audio so that's all the audio that's shown in the map view here rather than any just the selected there's also the ability to create tracks and export tracks and again I'll be showing you that in another YouTube video so if we now ready to export all as we're exporting the, the mp3 that we've been editing uh, so we've now exported that and you just notice it's very quick because there's no need to decompress and recompress audio when you do this uh, so these type of operations are very quick and so that's it so thanks for listening if you have any questions you can you're welcome to uh, ask them on the YouTube channel have a good day